YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review of the Land Brothers Zord vehicle set from Power Rangers Mega Force. Uh, we'll go ahead and just take a very quick look at the packaging since we've already seen it in the Sea Brothers logo with Rangers. Cool stuff. Empty place. This is the name of what you're getting. Here's the Black Ranger. Here's the combination you can make with the Ghost Great Mega Zord. And the same advertisement for how to mix and match the Zord vehicles and the Zord builder system and all that fun stuff. So, not much going on there. Same difference. Um, so here we have uh, the Black Ranger cycle with the land headers on them. Uh, rather than being blue, it's obviously gray. You get a Black Ranger figure. Um, and then the three headers attached. Pretty much the same deal as before. You can sort of roll and have fun times. As I said in Sea Brothers, I'm glad we did do a little something different to uh, give you something extra when you buy the headers because I feel like it just would have been a weird concept here to buy three little heads. Um, so the, making them into a cycle was pretty neat and I kind of I dig it. Um, and they are going to be used um, in a hyper uh, Go Say Great transformation. But so yeah, that is it. Uh, take a look at the Ranger figure. Like Blue, he is very, very basic. I do wish they would have given him a little more paint, even if it was just from the waist up or something. Because you see his helmet is just not very well done. Um, he does have a symbol, but uh, he looks like a little McDonald's toy. In fact, I think the old uh, MMPR, the movie McDonald's toys, had more paint than this. And then all the articulation you have is the arm is 360 and the head 360. Um, no waist or legs or anything like that. So I'll just place him in the vehicle, and he's like, vroom vroom and stuff. And you put his little hands on these handles, and there you go. So now let's take a look at the headers. Um, first we have Psy Header, which is a rhino. Um, he's overall really basic, he looks really mad. Like, he's all yellow with this gray horn and the little uh, green eyes, and then these gray little wheels here, attraction thingies. Um, so he's really, really basic. He looks pretty cheap. Um, his only functionality in the Japanese version was to spin his horn. He cannot do that here. I'm not sure why we can't do that. Um, then we have Kuaga header here. Um, pretty basic again, mainly black. You really just have these gold tips here and the red here. He is going to be uh, your helmet for the formation. And he can open his pincers up to a little bit varying degrees, depending on what you want to do. It's mainly for transformation uh, for the helmet, but you can do that if you so choose. And then the Tyranno header here. Um, it's obviously a T-Rex. Um, primarily this sort of, it's like kind of a darkerish orange a little bit. Um, and then the red eyes. He's got a lot more personality than the others. Fortunately, his only function opening his mouth uh, is not controlled by a little... Uh, thingy anymore, and you just have to open it manually, and it's kind of stiff. Um, you do have a semi-missile looking thing in there, but he's overall pretty basic. These all three pretty look cheap on their own. Pretty much look cheap on their own. Uh, real quick, before I compare them to the Japanese headers, something I forgot to mention in my Seek Brothers review is that um, I don't. I kind of wish I did mention that I wish they had kept their small functionalities from uh, the Japanese version. Uh, when making their own molds, especially because if you remember in the samurai line when you had those auxiliary swords, they all had that gimmick, you know, you have a ranger riding on top of them and you'd roll them, like Beetle's head would spin and uh, the tiger's little, uh, did the tiger do anything? I don't remember. Um, and then you have, uh, like, the claw sword would, like, clamp his hands. I kind of wish that they would have kept that, especially with a cycle, and you could have had all the headers on here, and when you were rolling it, like, this would spin, Maybe these could open, his mouth would move. I think that would have added a little more playability like for kids or just entertainment in general. Especially since you put it on a cycle and you could have all three headers functioning at once. Um, but so yeah, I kind of wish they had done that. So just a quick comparison here. Here is the Rhino one, or the Psy. Um, as you can see, uh, more paint apps on the Japanese version as usual. And it's a larger size, these are entirely new molds. Um, and see his gimmick here, he had this little piece up here to spin his horn. He has, like, the gear up there, he just can't do that, so... That's just a little bit annoying that they, they did that. Um, Kuaga here... Here we go, see so he got more gold paint on it. Um, gold paint on the wheels. And rather than having to manually open the horns... Or oh, is it this way? You just do it like that. You can pinch it out in the Japanese version, so... A little more functionality. Um, then Tyranno... And Tyranno, the Tyranno... This one looks nicer. I, I kind of like the, uh, I dig the kind of shiny finish that this guy's got going on. Bigger painted wheels. You got this little button here to open his mouth. So you just a lot more functionality out of the, uh, the headers. So, 
Yeah, so now uh, we will go ahead and once again take the box out and we will combine this with our friend, the Gosei Great Megazord, bring him in. Um, so I've already taken the sword out of his hand because it just gets in the way and it's an extra step really for, for no reason. Um, so to prep him, basically you are going to take his feet, let's hand down his feet so in case you don't know what feet are, and remove his feet and you put them on his kneecaps. But that's a sentence you don't hear every day. And then what you're going to want to do is take this uh, the side header and put it on his foot, and the Toronto header, put it on his other foot, and then we are going to zoom up here, get rid of his head, uh, store it in the sword. I'm, you know what to do, I'm not going to bother showing it. Uh, open this piece up, fold his wings back, come on, there we go, and, no, nope, not all the way yet, there we go, and place the head on, and there you have the land Megazord. So with C Megazord, we had him gaining some new arm pieces, and in this one you get him gaining kneecaps from his previous feet, and some, like, sort of assault feet pieces, and a head. Um, the land formation has always just been kind of okay for me. I, I kind of thought it looked weird with, like, the kneecaps, and then his face, uh, his helmet was always really bland. Like, he looks like the most generic person ever. So, um, he's always just kind of been basic to me. Um, so now, like usual, we'll take a quick look next to Landic Gosei Great. So he'll okay, so here are the second. two next to each other. Obviously, size difference coming in, and some of the details stand out in terms of, like, Tyranno. But once you have them together, you don't notice the difference as much, at least my opinion. Like, when I, a minute ago, when I was stacking those headers next to each other, you could really tell the difference. Um, but once you have them together, there's really not too huge of a difference. Once again, we'll take a quick look at the... Uh, the helmets. Uh, you obviously see there's a little bit more paint detail up in here on the horns, but otherwise the faces remain pretty much the same. His being a little sleeker, maybe a little blander, but not too huge of a difference. Um, yeah, so like as always, if you want the higher grade and you really want the absolute best for your Ghostsager and Megaforce collection, then go ahead and hunt down some Ghostsager stuff. It's actually not that expensive. Um, but you can save some money by getting this, and I think you're getting a pretty decent substitute going on here. Um, like I said before, I do like the playability it adds by having the cycle. Gives you a little something extra. It doesn't make it so weird for the, uh... Make it just buying heads. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought there. Um, but so overall, it's another okay set. Um, uh, one quick mention here, I always must forget, you do get two cards. Uh, you get the Land Megazord card. My hand shook all of a sudden. And the Land Brother Zords. Why am I hand shaking? <laughs> I think it's all the coffee. But so yeah. Coolio, I can't really show any functions with him yet because I don't have the Morpher because it hasn't come out yet. Um, but so yeah, overall another okay set. Uh, if you're going to go ahead and pick up Go Say Great Megazord, I can recommend it because it adds functionality to it. They don't look the greatest on their own, but the cycle doesn't look bad, and once you have it all together, it's, it's a pretty decent substitute. Um, but so yeah, that is about it. Make sure you check out the crazy podcast at RidersRangeAndRambles.com. Till next time, this is Dawson Rider, signing out.